So we've got a question, the best bike in Europe for under 1,500 euro. I live in the Deutschland, I live in Germany, and I want the best bike for the money. Well, I would say go to Switzerland. You could walk across the border with a helmet, grab your, one of these bad boys and ride back. So this is the ALR5, which I reckon has got the 105 group set. The 105 brakes have better clearance than the Altegra and as, are as powerful. You yeah, actually a couple of hundred grams maybe for the bike and total... We've got 1,759 Swiss francs, which is 1,600 euro. So around that 1,500 euro mark, I would say the AMO, A, Monda ALR5 is really, really hard to beat. What would beat it would potentially be the Rosa. The Rosa from Bockholt, Deutschland, Germany. This is a beast. How do we turn that around? Oh, here we go. Ooh, oh, 3D. What? Wow. Yeah. So, um, Schnell. Schnell. I <laughs> don't... So this is an alloy frame, it's like the Amanda Carbon 4. I like this bike, it has just a ready to roll, a ready to roll setup. And I actually got a chance to ride one of these and I rate them, I fucking rate them. I'm not sure if you can change, it's 7.6 kilos, so quite light. I'm not sure if you can change, it comes with a 32 cassette, that's great. I'm not sure if you can change the brakes for 105, because if you want to run fatter tires, the 105 will give you extra clearance there. So it comes with the Richie Comp, it comes with a good finishing kit. The Richie stuff works well. So I rate this bike. If I lived in Deutschland, I would grab one of these bad boys. If I was my budget was 1,500 euros on sale for 1,400 euro plus, including that delivery to Thailand, 415 euros. That's to Thailand. It's 1,400 euros if you live in Deutschland. You can even go up to Bockholt. I've actually been to the uh, the store. The Rosa store. Was it called Rosa? What was it called in Bockholt? Rosa? I forget what it was called. It was back in 2003. And uh, I think it was called Rosa. But it was a great shop. A few stories high. But this is this this is the, be the bike I would get. And cycling plus give it a great bike. Bike of the year 2016. So it's not just my opinion for my ride. Bicycle, uh, this place also awards it as a king when it comes to value and performance. So, you know... They've got different weight going there. Either way, it's fucking light enough. They're saying a thousand euro. Wow, it's gone up in price. What the fuck's going on here? What's going on here? A thousand euro. Thousand twenty nine. And now it's fourteen hundred. Anyway, something's gone on there. You've got to take it up with the German currency exchange. Either way, under fifteen hundred but euro, this is this would be the this would be the bloom. This would be the go the go go ahead, the game changer here. So there you go, that's the fifteen hundred euros. You're gonna get a Rosso, Altegra. Or you're going to get a Trek and Monda ALR5, which is a fantastic bike. And to be honest, 105 Altegra is the same shit. I do prefer the 105 because it comes with fatter brakes. They can handle fatter tyres. Anyway, share your thoughts. Comments down below. That's your 1,500 euro bike. Alloys, these are quality alloy frames, just as good as any carbon product out there. They're going to retain their rigidity, and they're just definitely comfortable and engineered well. So that's the Rosa Pro SL3000. Varies in prices. Ask them what the deal with that one is. So if it's a thousand euro, that's fucking good stuff. That's cheap as chips. If you want all the best cycling tips, get a copy of my ebook down below called Drew Rider's Lean Body Bible. Grab a copy of that along with the new Ros. It's got all the best new cycling tips for noobs and advanced riders. The stuff I've learned from the last 400,000 kilometers ridden. That's one of these guys. So definitely the best cycling book out there ever, ever.